information. Once they've been abused, they keep that inside and they don't tell anyone. We know that one in ten children will be sexually abused by their 18th birthday, and of those, only one in ten will tell. So we hear time and again about children who have been to our programs and then come in, uh, tell someone and then come in. And what we tell children is tell a trusted adult if they don't believe you tell another trusted adult. Because if you would believe me, um, sometimes they'll tell someone and the person that is the alleged perpetrator is also a breadwinner in the home and that makes the decision for the mom um, where she or he or the dad when they have to make a decision between literally caring for the family or protecting this child. It gets complicated for them. Um, Ramsey has prepared for you all a little presentation about K through eight curriculum. I think that's what we agreed we would concentrate on in this meeting. And so, Ramsey, I don't want to take away any time from you as you have the meat of the presentation. And I have handouts for everybody. Um, these are the teaks that are covered in each Play SA presentation. And you can scan the QR code to go to the website and look at what we're about to view if you want to dig a little deeper. Choose some grades. Okay. Throw a grade out there. Grades. <laughs> Is that easier? Yeah, why don't you start with the youngest? Okay. okay. Um, and I also have included, um, I printed out the full scripts. Anybody want to look at those? They're binders. Um, but I did include pre K because we do have pre K. We use that in some of our school districts. So that's covered too. So you want to do pre K or start with kindergarten? I'll do kinder. That's probably what the time I see them before. Oh, hi there. I'm TikTok. I'm a watchdog. And I'm always looking out for the safety of kids. Like you. Try it. I did it! I touched the bottom! Great job! And speaking of touches, as a watchdog, I feel it's my duty to inform you that there are different kinds of touch. Some don't feel good, and some even hurt. What do you mean? Watch your mouth! There are three kinds of touches. Safe touch, unsafe touch, and confusing touch. Let's see what Doc Willard of Play It Safe Handbook says. Hey kids, welcome to my Play It Safe Handbook. What would you like to know? And the video for pre-K is very similar. So, do you want to kind of tell a bit what it, maybe summarize what it does yeah. after that? Yeah, so um, kindergarten is going to be, there, there's a few themes. Is that okay for me to sit right here? You can go by the There's a few themes that are pretty common throughout, um, especially in the elementary grade levels. Um, safe touch, unsafe touch, confusing touch. Um, for the younger kids, we do use um, a Joe and Susie doll to identify private parts as the parts of our body we come with the swimsuit. We don't use any anatomical terms ever throughout. Um, and that just kind of helps for kids to identify where everything is. Um, and that's something that is a theme in every script is that private parts of the parts of our body become a little swimsuit. Um, so they'll go through um, safe touches, which are um, hugs, high fives, handshakes, fist bumps, unsafe touches like hits, kicks, punches, scratches, things that leave bruises on our body, um, and then confusing touch, which is any time an adult um, tries to look at touch or take a picture of private parts for no good reason. Um, and we talk about the reasons that someone would need to do that, like keeping our body clean, keeping our body healthy, 
Um, and we talked about examples, um, going to the doctor, when you were little you need help going to the bathroom, medicine on our body, um, but that if someone doesn't have those two reasons to keep our body clean or to keep our body healthy, even if we do know them, um, that it's not okay. And then we also teach a three-part safety rule, and that is to say no, to get away, and tell a trusted adult, which a lot of times trusted adults are you guys. Um, and so kind of just empowering a child to, if something has happened, to be comfortable in a safe environment, to tell someone about it. Um, and also, if it hasn't happened, but something happens in the future, do they already have a safety plan in place? Um, so that's kind of the way that pre-K, kinder, first, second are in two. So do you want me to go to third, maybe? To third grade? This is a really silly video, so just... <laughs> now it's time for another episode of what would you do? The show where we think through smart choices in challenging situations with the help of Thaddeus McBrainius Jr., better known as the Baby Professor! Sometimes we all need a little help, right? Right. Which brings us to our friend Mia. Hello, I'm Mia. Look, Professor, Mia's got a problem and she'd like to pick your brain. Ooh. That sounds painful. No, it's her situation that's painful. Then it seems to me you have two choices. One, you can do nothing. Which means nobody will know and therefore can't help you. Or you can do something. Which might be scary or hard. So, what would you do? Well, if I do nothing, it might happen again. It not to me, there's somebody else. So, I guess I have to deal with something. So third grade is going to have um, no, it's tough. the same ideas, um, the three types of touches, um, identifying your trusted adults. Uh, third grade also covers bullying. Um, so we'll go into what it means to be a bully, how that makes the other person feel, why someone would bully. Um, I like that part because it's super insightful about their answers. You would think a third grader would have such a deep you know, understanding of why somebody would choose to treat somebody badly. Um, but that's covered, um, and then the same theme of it's the importance of telling um, that if something like this has ever happened to you, it's not your fault. It doesn't matter if it happened a long time ago, you always have the right to tell. Um, so that's kind of the only difference. In third grade, we stopped using the Joe and Susie dolls. Um, we still do refer to private parts of the parts of our body we cover with the swimsuit, but there's not that um, visual aid in third grade. And then fourth is very similar. Um, fourth grade is going to start going into online safety. Um, you want to see that video? Want to go ahead and jump up to go go up to middle school? Go up to middle school. Okay. Mm -hmm. So sixth grade is um, paint them healthy. About having healthy relationships. When someone says you should blow up your friend's family and talk to the time, I mean, love, that's absolutely true. When someone says they don't want you talking to any other guys or girls, that ain't love. That's jealousy. And if you're in a relationship with someone who's doing any of this kind of stuff to you, guess what? You don't have to be. The right thing to know. Take it out of there. You deserve something better. Something better. Something for you. Something that happened. He holds you. See your lives. What we make of it. Healthy choices make healthy relationships. We get to make choices. Here's an idea. Let's do something different. Expect something different. Show us something different. Like kindness, compassion, and love.
So um, sixth grade, we'll start talking about kind of laying the foundation of what a healthy relationship looks like. Um, things like communication and mutual respect, kindness, and then also on the flip side of that, what unhealthy signs would be jealousy, isolation, um, not being able to have you know, time with your family or time with your friends because um, whoever this person is is not allowing you to. Um, and then it also will go into um, kind of what we would expect a healthy relationship to look like and also how to have, um, if you had to have a breakup, how to have a healthy breakup. Um, things like um, arguing is okay if it's in a respectful way so you don't interrupt people, you don't curse at someone, um, things like that. So that's kind of, it, we, it doesn't cover, um, it's not on the abuse range in this grade level, um, but it is a super great way for sixth graders to start learning about communication and respect and boundaries and things like that. Um, do you like me to go to seventh? No? Good on seventh? <laughs> I think we're good. We're good? Okay, cool. <laughs> Unless anybody else would have to speak to you. I apologize. Nobody else wants to see a video. Does anybody have any questions? Anything specifically they want to answer or to see? You're good? Okay. Well, then I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> and then, okay. 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 So, we will entertain a motion to bring the Play It Safe program back to Tyler ISD. Motion. Okay. So motion to bring the Play It Safe program back to Tyler ISD. Can I get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Great. And it passes. <laughs> okay. Well, I appreciate you all coming today. If no one has any more questions, we will adjourn at 9.52.